Well, I gotta call it a night. Uh, the, 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 <laughs> I keep on forgetting to check the the um, memory, the storage in my iPhone because I make all these stupid long videos and then it says iPhone's full. Uh, so I'm gonna wrap this up really, really quickly now <clears throat> and go to bed because it's late. Um, it is Saturday, but I don't think this movie, this video will be dropping until like later next week. Um, but um, maybe I'll talk one more thing really, really quickly. Possibly not. I was just at today. We were just at the AGM for Turtle Lug, and um, it was a nice meeting. And I mentioned this before that I was very hesitant, very, very um, slow to adopt the idea of going to Toro Lug after being part of RTL Toronto for all those many years. Because um, I am loyal like a puppy. <laughs> even though even though RTL Toronto doesn't exist anymore. <clears throat> I don't want to go off on too many tangents, but I'll start with this tangent. So back in the day, back in the day, when I moved out on my own, I had to call Ma Bell. Ma Bell is what you, I still call it Ma Bell. I said, I need a phone. This is pre-internet. Need a phone. I'm living on my own. Um, <clears throat> and, and it doesn't have to be fancy. I, 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 all my friends live in the area, so I don't need long distance rates. Back then, this is the 90s and late 80s and 90s and stuff like that. You could, you know, get rates and discounts and blah blah I don't need any of that just give me a freaking phone uh copper wire DMARC and now's whatever landline um and so they gave me a phone and it was like 20 30 bucks a month and as the years went by the 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 and I and I don't make long distance phone calls so all of a sudden my bill was from 25 dollars a month to 30 dollars a month to 35 dollars a month to 40 dollars a month the $45, $50 a month. And I go, oh, holy moly, dudes, what are you doing? So this is after years. I call up Bell. I said, hey, you know, when I got this line, it was like 25 bucks a month. Oh, well, there's service charges. There's this charge. There's that charge, blah, blah, blah. I said, I don't want any of it. I just want a copper line out of the handset. Well, you need this and you need that. And every once in a while, they would knock it back down to 20 or actually about $30 a month. I just start creeping back up after a while. And so eventually, like, and, and as soon as cell phones started becoming, you know, more than what landscapers had, um, I've always had a cell phone that I've never had to pay for because I'm an IT and so work always gave me a cell phone. So my friends would always call me on my cell phone, um, which has been that way for decades now, probably 30 years, 25, 30 years. Um, I mean, what was my first gig? R and R Trucking had a cell phone. <laughs> that's nineteen ninety seven. <laughs> like that's a lot long ago, nineteen ninety seven. Um, uh, but I think I had one before. Did I have one before that? No, oh, sorry, I started late law in ninety seven. Holy crap! I'm getting far too old for this. So ninety early mid nineties, I had a cell phone from R and R Trucking. Um. So anyway, uh, so I didn't need a landline at home, but it's always nice to have a copper line and a phone in your house back in the day. So uh, anyway, so I, I kept on calling up every sporadically every uh, couple years and say, knock this bill back down because it's getting to be too expensive again. And they would knock it back down. Um, and uh, eventually, eventually, um, I got to the point where it was $50, $60 for the month. No long distance charges. And I called up Bell and I said, I'm done. Like, honestly, you guys can't, I, I can't do this anymore. Uh, you guys keep on, oh, and, and, and I said, is this your best, literally $50 a month for a copper line going to a, a, a phone? No, no internet, no nothing on it. And the guy goes, yeah, that's the best we can do. Absolutely the best we can do. And I talked to him for like 15, 20 minutes, like voicing my displeasure and whatever else. And, um, and eventually he's, I said, fine, just cancel it. Just cancel my number. Uh, because at that time, for the last bunch of years before that, Sandy was even here. Um, so yeah, this is like uh, tw less than 20 years ago. <coughs> when, yeah, when I moved in here, I had my phone number. Um, and um, 
what had happened was is that we got the cable company to come in here to give us our cable and internet and they said if you add the phone uh, it's going to be an extra couple of bucks a month um and then we can bring your phone over to the cable company and i said no i'm loyal i'm loyal like a puppy and i've been with bell for all these years and um and you know so i i don't want to jump ship if i don't have to uh, but then th we told that to the cable company and what happened was is that the, the bell bill started going up and I called bell and I said, this is, this is disgusting paying 50 bucks a month plus for a phone line. Um, and we're not even putting long distance on it and they, and you guys can't do a thing for us. No, we can't do anything for you. So I said, fine. Um, I called the cable company. I say, port the number over. And, um, and so they, 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 they grabbed the number from Bell and then brought it over to our cable company. So now we got home phone, home internet, and home TV on one bill. The minute they ported the number or requested to port the number over to from Bell over to the cable company, we got a call from Bell that day. And the Bell person says on the phone, Oh, you're leaving us. And I go, Yes, I'm leaving you. Oh, I. I you, know, you should have talked to the loyalty department because we would have knocked your phone because I mentioned the money. I mentioned the $50 plus every month. That was disgusting. Oh, you should have talked to the loyalty. Dude, I was talking to some guy for 25, 30 minutes and they said they couldn't do a thing. Oh, you're talking to the wrong person. Don't tell me I'm talking to the wrong person. If your guy on the phone doesn't know who to put me in contact with, because I was upset. I said I was loyal with Bell since I've had a, since I've had a phone. I stayed with Bell. Even though I had a cell phone, I stayed with Bell because I'm loyal. I don't jump ship at, if I get a whiff of a better deal on the street. I don't do that. I do not do that. I do not dump something that's been working for me to save five cents, five seconds down the road. No, I don't do that. If if I'm with Ma Bell, and I was with Ma Bell since my earliest 20s, uh, it has to take something extraordinary to for me to not be with Ma Bell. And my... The, the extraordinary factor was you guys are charging me too much. Like you got way too much for one phone line that had nothing on it. <laughs> it was just frustrating. I said, look, I'm loyal. And then I talked to the guy. I said, what? look, I don't want to go anywhere. My cable companies offer me to roll in the phone number with our, with our cable and internet. And it'll be like 20, 25 bucks a month. Can you get it down to 30? I'll stay. Oh, no, we, we can't do that, Mr. Carice, because it's not available in your area. And I'm going, what's 30 bucks two years ago? Why is it 50 bucks now? Oh, blah, 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 blah. Loyalty department, says this guy on the phone. Well, it's too late now. Your The phone number is now ported over to the cable company. And I'm not going to tell them to push it back. Because I'm done. Like it, it took that long, those years, to get to that point. But it takes that long for me to lose my <coughs> appreciation of loyalty to somebody who has been, quote unquote, loyal to me over the years. And yes, it's a company and you shouldn't get hung up on the idea of loyalties and stuff like that. But my whole point is I don't jump ship easy. I do not jump ship easy. I do not. Look, at, look what I play with since I was four years old. I do not jump ship easily. <laughs> Star Trek, I mentioned this. You might have heard me talk about it five seconds ago. I do not jump ship easily. I do not go, I'm not uh, like when he says, just whichever way the wind's blowing is where I'm going to go. Oh, I'm going to like this today. I'm going to like that tomorrow. I'm going to like, no, I am loyal. To a fault sometimes. I will let things slide a lot because wait, I'm lazy. <laughs> but, um, um, I'm just loyal. I appreciate the thing. Oh, who are you with? Bell. Yep. I, I like saying it. I, I did. I did like, but they invented the freaking phone. I, I, I just can't get over. I, to this day, I can't get over that. That's what the guy said to me. Oh, you should have gotten in touch with the loyalty department. Don't tell me that. Tell the guy on the phone that I talked to three days ago that. Because like I, I said, can you get done? Oh yeah, thirty. The guy from the loyalty department called me. Oh, thirty dollars is up. That that's what it, what that's is that what it would have take for you to stay with us? Well, it's too late now because they've already ported the number over to the cable company. I asked. I begged. I can't believe I'm begging a company for my business. One phone line. Um, I have a problem with that. 
I honestly do. I have a problem with that. I have a problem with the... Um, I don't mind being in my, uh, like a faceless number to most of these corporations because who am I to them? They, they get a check or we pay, we pay online now uh, every month for whatever we're, you know, hydro, heat, um, cable. Uh, not that we have cable. <laughs> we got fiber coming into the house now. <laughs> but even that, and this, and this is something Sandy and I keep on talking about because every, so on this specific note, so we are with a cable company. Um, it's a multi, you know, across Canada. I won't mention their name, but they changed the freaking name of the Sky Dome. Um, <laughs> cause there's always a Sky Dome, but anyway, um, but it wasn't, it wasn't called that when I first moved in here, uh, in, in this little tiny spot in Hamilton, I don't know how many blocks it contains, but it was called Mountain Cable Vision. When I first bought this house, Mountain Cable Vision, and there were a small mom and pop up the hill, uh, what we call it, the hill of the experiment, uh, that serviced part of Hamilton and uh, for cable and internet. And uh, when I moved in, I called them up. I said, I need cable and I need internet. <laughs> and Ma Bell's coming in the house with me with my copper line. Um, and so uh, I was with Mountain Cable Vision for the longest time. Mountain Cable Vision got vital a long time ago. I've been here for far too long. But Mountain Cable Vision got bought out by Shaw. Because Shaw was trying to make inroads into the east. Because Shaw is mostly a western company. Um, and so Shaw bought Mountain Cable Vision. And so without me moving, all of a sudden I started getting Shaw bills. <laughs> and my email address was now at Shaw instead of Mountain Cable Vision. Mount, Mountain Cable, not that. And then Shaw and Rogers came to some sort of agreement. Uh, so the, the our zone that was once Mountain Cable Vision, then Shaw, became Rogers. Yes, I gave you the name. Um, and so without me moving and without me changing any of my billing address, uh, we're now with Rogers. <clears throat> and so what invariably happened with Rogers, and it and it happened before, but what happens is that they they give um, these uh, packages, these 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 two year or one year packages that after the year expires, it goes up to regular price. So it's a nice discount for, for a year. And so since day one of Rogers, which has been a long time now, I think it's over a decade now, um, every year or every two years, we have to call Rogers because our, our package is going to expire. And what happens, and it, uh, every year I complain about it. Every time I talk to him, I complain about it. Because I said, I want to pay one bill for my life. It's like it's like, it's like like those banks who offer a new customer a toaster, which whatever, forget the toaster, or this discounted uh, savings plan. Um, and the customers that have been with them for 50 years don't get that. They're not, uh, they're not um, entitled to get that. And I'm going... Why aren't you treating your customers that you've had, loyal customers that you've had for decades, better than somebody who just walked in off the street? And I go, because that's a sales pitch. It's an enticing pitch to get them in the door. But what about the people who've been with you all this time? Because I'm loyal to people and companies that are loyal to me. And so I get stuffy. Um, I, it, it drives me nuts that that's what has to happen is that I have to be a new customer in order to get the, the fantastic thing. So anyway, so, so Rogers, every couple of years, uh, what happens is that Sandy and I made a, a rule that our internet, phone, and t television shouldn't cost over 150 bucks a month because we don't want it to. Um, and, uh, and so the package that we get from Rogers now has to be 150 bucks a month. And what happens is that when the package expires, it goes up to 250 bucks a month. Like it's a huge jump. <coughs> and we have to be ready for it because then we have to call Rogers and get on a new package. And for the last three or four times to get on this new this discount package that lasts a year or two is that they have to give us new equipment. Uh, before we went from a 500 gig uh, internet connection uh, that came to like a cable modem over here on the other side as well. And then they said, oh, if you, and, and all of a sudden it went up to 250 bucks a month with our flex TVs and whatever else like that. Anyway, uh, I said, oh, to get this new package, you have to have the, the uh, not five, they don't call it that, but uh, 
Ignite, or whatever. Um, and you get one gig of internet. <laughs> so I said, wait a minute. Right now, you are charging us regular price, full freight price, uh, $250 a month for 500 gig of internet on a cable modem. And if we want to go back onto the 150 a month, you're gonna give you're gonna give us a fiber connection, all the hardware, and um, and you know and we're gonna we're gonna be paying less, and we're gonna get double the speed. Yes, what, what? I hate this because if 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 somebody has a one gigabit, uh, I mean yeah, whatever you know what I'm saying, five meg, hundred, but. Uh, the one gigabit fiber connection. Um, a person who has the latest and greatest should be paying more for the latest and greatest than the person who is stuck on the old cable connection internet. But no, they said that's 250 for the old half a gig, 500 meg versus the one gig fiber connection. I'm going, this is, I can't stand people. I'm getting too old for this, by the way, and 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 this is this is the frustration I have uh, with vendors. This is the frustration I have being a customer um, that I have to worry about this every month or I mean every year uh, when it expires, and then call them up and go through a three-hour thing on the phone about you know and whatever else. Um, and it is getting to the point where um, we still watch a lot of TV. We like our TV. And, and we start a lot. We watch a lot of regular TV shows, uh, like Chicago Fires and L uh, Law and Orders and stuff like that. That you can get on streaming services, but it's just Friday at ten o'clock. You're watching Law and Order or whatever else. Uh, it's Wednesdays at nine o'clock. You're watching Chicago Fire. Uh, it's old school. I get it. It's old school. But look at me. <laughs> but, but if I'm hey, you kids, get off my grass. Um, and so. Right now, I do not mind paying the 150 because to me it's worth it, and we do watch a lot of TV. Uh, but it is becoming, it's waning now because we are we're watching a lot more Netflix, we are watching a lot more Disney Plus, we're watching a lot more uh, streaming services than we ever have before, and um, and the strike that they just had stopped the seasons from starting this year. Um, but I'm still not. For me, I'm not. A lot of my friends have already pulled the trigger and dumped cable altogether, just because they don't need to watch regularly broadcasted TV shows. Um, this one internet, and then they stream everything. <laughs> so, and it's straight internet. You, there's a whole bunch of companies out there that'll give you straight internet for like forty bucks a month, if that. Um, and uh, so that's a huge cost savings. Uh, one of my friends, that's all he's ever had in his house when he bought his place is just, uh, one internet connection. Um, it's a world without wire or something. I can't remember the name of the company, but he, and he, and he swears by it and he pays negligible next to nothing for his internet. Uh, and because he's got a, he's got a cell phone. He's got a cell phone plan. I got a cell phone. That's work pays for it. That's my cell phone plan. <laughs> I don't have to worry about it. It's not my phone. Um, but uh, he he pays next to nothing for his cell phone. He's internet in the house, so his his bill is way cheaper than ours. I'm not ready to pull the trigger yet because again, first of all, loyalty, and second of all, it's just so easy just to turn on the TV, go to the guide, and watch whatever's Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune and whatever else. We still watch that stuff. We do. I know. I know we're old school. I know. Hey, you kids, again, get off my grass. But I know. I I do have a tough time with vendors who have the arrogance and ignorance of and the complete lack of appreciation for customers who want to remain loyal to them uh because we are sandy and i both get a little fed up with rogers every year and we keep on saying we're just going to dump it all and go over to bell or back back to bell um or something like that or just go pure internet um and maybe a discussion that we're going to have this year you know, when we get back to, we have to get the bill from 250 back down to 150. Um, I think we're paying 139 right now. Sandy takes care of all the bills, but I think we're paying 139 a month for uh, internet, phone, and uh, TV. Um, 
<clears throat> and we can't dump the phone because Sandy and I are talking about canceling the phone, but the phone number is built into the package. You can't get rid of the phone. Uh, although we're thinking about unplugging the phone because all we get on our landline is, you know, spam uh, and and people who want to, like, you know, sell us something. So um, we might dump the phone. We're, we're just still because it can't be removed from the bill. So we'll still be paying for a phone line. But um, we, we we don't even use it anymore. So anyway, there's that. I've talked too much already. So you guys all stay safe. Take care. Uh, I am loyal to you. Um, that's who I am. And um, I appreciate you. And um, we'll just see what happens. Keep on smiling. You guys all stay safe. Take care.